What's up, sneaker fam? It's your boy, McFly, the hardest working man in shoe tainment today. Coming at you again with another real review. If this is your first time over here in the land of McFly, man, I welcome you. I appreciate you stopping by. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, man. Hit that notification bell and all that good stuff, man, to keep me rolling, to keep me motivated, to keep me doing my thing, man. I greatly appreciate you. We're currently on the road to 5K, trying to get that done by the end of the year. So if everybody sub up, man, we'll be gucci Riffic. Also, man, subscribe to the Who Has The Heat YouTube sneaker battle channel, man. It goes down all the time man we had a crazy um t-shirt and sneaker battle as well as a battle of the 14s two weeks ago it was crazy go check it out you can check out all the past battles and everything man it's a monumental <laughs> monumental time over there but we're trying to get monetized and hit that 1k over there too so look out for us man we'll greatly appreciate it and lastly you can subscribe to e-money shoes and 313 retro queen my fellow partners in crime my family my familia man look out for them too since we're looking out for everybody you know and we'll look out for y'all if you know what that means so today man we back at it again with another real review man um i hit on sneakers for these rainbow trout dunk lows man and um I don't think a lot of people really like these, but me personally, I am digging, digging this shoe, digging the fact that I didn't have to put in a lot of work, digging the fact that sneakers bless me uh, with this pair, also digging the fact that it's a fire sneaker. I mean, I'm just being honest, man. It is a couple things on here that I don't like, and we'll get into that in a second, but in the meantime, let me know how you guys feel about the shoe. Did you cop these? Were you excited about them? Um, they released um, another pair as well, like a white pair. I wasn't really feeling that one. I ain't even really looked at it, for real. Dave Drew. I just saw it didn't do nothing <laughs> to this rainbow trout shoe did, so we went with the rainbow trouts for all the fishing folk out there y'all know rainbow trout is a fish it's spotted it has like an iridescent hue to it if i remember i'll put a picture in here to show you guys what a rainbow trout looks like or you can just do some googles and look up a rainbow trout whatever this ain't the discovery channel it's a sneaker review channel you did but starting with that outsole man you've got that sail colored outsole flipping up to the top portion of it you can see that little uh is that that orange yeah it's got that little orange stitching going around that whole midsole cell touch was definitely some nice flavor on these you know i usually don't like cell midsoles but it definitely popped on this joiner just for it to be all solid because you're not here for the sole you know what i'm saying you're here for the upper uh, another nice touch on this joint you see the iridescent on the swoosh Yes, rainbow trouts have a little iridescent to them. So that's where that hit came from. You also see this little piece of material right here is made just like a hook for when you're fishing. You know, you fish with hooks. You got to bait your line, all that. So they went and put that little accent on there. I thought I thought that was dope. Um, the swoosh is leather. Uh, wrapping around here to your other side, you can see that little fish scale print that they put on the joint iridescent on both sides just don't have a little hook joint on it but either way still a nice touch i usually don't really like um iridescence that much but for this shoe just that little subtle portion i feel like that was pretty decent um you've also on your upper you've got this like green suede hairy suede y'all see the touches on that Let's see if i can get y'all some ain't too much back and forth it's actually a little a little rough it ain't that soft premium new balance suede but it's all right I, I can't hate on it you know what i mean that's on your whole upper check it out going all up your lace down back to your heel wrapping around to that back you got some pink suede back here as well as some orange suede which is stitched in nike branding solid touch there and the star of the show is this like polka dotted um pattern i thought this right here was black it's like a bluish black blackish blue black blackish bluish blackish <laughs> on this joint is what it, how it looks to me and it's on your side paneling as well as your toe box and that was a nice touch representing the spots on the fish it come with flat black laces in the joint which i think that's really the one of the few downfalls of the shoe these solid black laces i'll probably put like some pink in there maybe an orange maybe this little cell color you know something just to add a little pop a little flare to the sneaker um your tongue is mesh and you have your little fish logo up here and it says what does this thing say nike beaverton established in 1972 
and they put it here but you know i like my 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 dunks and my jordan ones to all have the nike branding and it's on here it's just on the back of the tag now i highly wish they flipped that tag around and put that fish on the inside but it is what it is beggars can't be choosers you know i'm just letting y'all know where i stand interior you got that pink insole and it has this exact same logo on um the insole just bigger obviously you see the side sticker in there so solid touches on that man overall a decent shoe and me showing it to you i know you guys didn't see any glue stains you didn't see any stitching errors you didn't see anything uh jacked up or poor cut or anything this is a very well um put together shoe in my opinion just giving you the shots of both shoes so yeah this would be a great fall shoe honestly that's when i plan to break these out in the fall um put it up with some other earth tones man and this it's gonna be something to see it's gonna be a real delight visually especially when i get them laces in that joint um as far as sizing goes on these bad boys man you can go true to size and dunks you can go a half size up i actually went a full size up in these um i went to a size 15 just because the 14s are a little snug to me but I've got plenty of 14 dunks. I got 15 dunks. It's just whatever's available at the time. But I prefer the size 15 if if I can get it. So I said all I had to say this, man. Go to the mall, try on you some dunks, and you can decide what, <laughs> what size you want to buy. You can go true to size just fine. But if you want to go a half size up, you can. If you want to go the full size up, you can. But I don't know your feet. I only know my feet. But I'm just giving my size and recommendations. So for people interested, I just say go true to size, man, and you'll be all right. And if true to size don't work out for you, then you know to get the half size up next time. There you go. You learn a lesson. Just like I got to just like I got to learn my lessons. As far as comfort goes, man, as y'all know, this is a regular dunk. It's not an SB, so you don't have a zoom air pause in the shoe. It's just a regular dunk. Um, same comfort that you're gonna get from the Jordan 1. It ain't wowing, you're not gonna be amazed. It's not like, oh my god, this is the greatest comfortable now. But for flat footers like me, man, it's a decent shoe. I can wear it all day and not have any problems. And um, yeah, that's how that go, man. So yeah, comfort pretty rich. C plus sets the bar. I won't give it like a D or F. They're not uncomfortable. They're just not the most comfortable shoes on the planet. But if you got flat feet, they'll work out fine. You got them heavy arches and all that, you probably gonna hate these shoes. But just putting it out there, letting you guys know, man. Um, it's actually raining outside, so I can't do the home foot. But um, I just wanted to bring this one to you, man, let you guys see it. As you can see, man, I'm getting a, um, working my life out, kind of getting back into things, uh, trying to figure it all out, you know, during my uh, hiatus. And I'm still crazy busy. I still got a bunch of stuff going on, but I'm figuring out how to work YouTube into everything that else that I got going on, you know, to get this back geared up, man. So rock with me, man. Keep hanging in there. I appreciate y'all, everybody that's watching, the new subscribers, the new followers. Um, the comments, all that, man. Rock out with y'all. Appreciate y'all 100%. And until I upload the next video, it's your boy McFly, man. We out of here.